Hey everybody, this is Scott from Laura Tip Therapy and welcome to day five of our challenge of how to attract up to 20 hypnotherapy clients per week. And from yesterday, we're basically doing the numbers for the price. We've said you really, really need to attract two new people per week. And today we're talking about how to promote. So if you are, a, again, a hypnotherapist, coach, NLP master, or anything of the sort where you're an expert and want to get your message or expertise out there, but maybe finances have been an issue, or maybe perhaps the technology has been an issue, whatever it is, like we're here to help you. Let's get into today's training. And this is, again, so much fun, but let's take a look at what is the first out of three steps in promoting your program. So if you're gonna build a funnel, like what we were talking about yesterday, if you're gonna build a funnel, the first thing to do is to build a database. On social media, people put videos up or posts all of the time without really understanding how the other person is going to perceive that post. You could be talking from so much either jargon because you're an expert and you understand what you're talking about. And you could be talking completely over the other person's head. Perhaps you know exactly what their issue is. You know that they've got a subconscious, you know they've got behavior, they've got patterns, they need a perspective shift. But that stuff's not attractive to people. They need you to talk from their point of view first. So in the marketing, we have this acronym called ATSTO that we teach to all our students, even the ones in our um, $5,000 programs. I wanna give it to you today because if you were to do a video on social media to get people to follow you or to grow your group, ATSTO, every video I do is an ATSTO. Attention, you've gotta get their attention, be loud, have volume topic what is it that you do so really considering like what is it that you actually do I'll give you an example with topic there's this sentence that says i help who do what by what without what like i help smokers to quit for life using my hypnotherapy program without patches pills um, or sprays or gums, <laughs> if that makes sense. What do you do? I help who? Who do you help? What's the circumstance? That's the topic. To do what? What's the result they get? I help um, people who would like the body of their dreams to lose weight. Or I help people who are single to gain a relationship. I help people in a um, marriage that's full of fights to create love, to create... So what do you do? What's your topic? You want to make sure that's at the start of your video or at the start of your text or the start of everything that you do. The story, people prefer to learn through story. As in the other day, blah, 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 something happened. They want a, a splice, they want a slice of life. They don't just want to be told something dry. So what can you tell them about your topic? Like say, if you're talking about addiction, what can you tell them? If you are talking about relationships or health or money or whatever, what can you tell them? Teach come up with remember those steps just tell them your steps like again like with the cigarettes nicotine addiction habit emotional battle and the offer say I've got an ebook type I'm in to get it or I've got this program coming up type I'm in to join it and people join it's like magic they just do it and that's you never know when a person wants to join and that's why there's a funnel with multiple touch points we never know when a person wants to join so we have programs that have like say limited spaces and we always fill our spaces because we don't know if it's going to be today or tomorrow or whatever. Don't judge yourself on the day if you've put a video out and nobody's joined. But keep putting the video out. Keep putting your emails out. Keep putting your content out. Because people will come unless you do nothing. So that's like the way this business works. That so many people are holding back because they, they're afraid of rejection or they're worried. They're overwhelmed. There's too many steps. They need like step one and two, just kind of today, just step one or two. How do I do step one and two? Because they in themselves are overwhelmed. You could be talking over their head. What do you help people with? And just with the teach, what are some steps they can do? What's an offer? Do you have an ebook or a video or a program for them to join? Start building a database by giving away free content. Use the Atsto. Go through any video I've done. Basically, it's an Atsto. Then give free content. So we have a process where there's the indoctrination video where you teach something of value, a myth buster video where you help to overcome misconceptions, and then a case study video where we give social proof about a person who 
who has gone through our system or for you, a person who's gone through your system. If you haven't seen clients yet, give an industry example, like whether it's Matt Damon who quit smoking using hypnotherapy or whether it's somebody else that you can talk about a bit of a story. Get free content. And we'll talk a little bit more about that soon. In our system, every one of these letters is um, actually an acronym. So instead of getting into all of them today, and you'll see what they are when you're doing the program. Um, let's look at one acronym. When you make an offer, sales offer is what we actually do when we're selling something. So whether it's perhaps, it could be if you're sending out an email or writing an ad. This is a little bit more advanced than the hock, but I would ask you to basically get a pen and paper or a computer and start typing out these elements and let's go through it. Self, who are you? Um, that I'm who and I help who do what by what without. I, so like you say your name and you help people through, remember the DDFF? What's the problem that they're in and what's the result that they want and what's your method and then what do they get to avoid? Do they have? Do they get to avoid um, years of obesity? Do they get to avoid something else like years of fighting? Do they get to avoid years of poverty? Or do they get to avoid methods that don't work as in like um, without having strict diets which basically restrict you from living life? Would that make sense? The ambition, what does your client want? And talk about it. Are you looking to lose weight? Are you looking to basically to quit smoking, some other addiction, marijuana, ice, or something else? Or to quit alcohol, quit gambling, stop fighting with your partner? Like, what is it that they, your client wants? And ask them, say, hi, I'm this person, I help who, do what, by what, without. And what does your client want? Are you looking to achieve X, Y, Z? Again, then give it a little bit more story. What did your client learn or what did you learn or what have you been through that gave you perspective? Give a slice of life, be generous with yourself because people want to see you as a person. Um, the same as like with the, the business stuff with my brother and I, that um, I studied over 60 online courses and I wasn't taking any action because I became a study junkie. That's part of my life story. And then I talk about how somebody said to me like, well, why don't you just start? Um, I had this scrabble bag basically full of courses, full of education, full of all these steps but I didn't know which step to start with. So I learned that by following a plan, like just some plan where you do step one, then step two, then step three, I actually started to grow my business. Or the same as like when it comes to clients um, for addiction, they could say like, you know, or you could say, I learned that to get off addiction, you had to first accept that you've got it and then break the pattern and then create um, a new lifestyle for yourself. Environment could be, how has the world changed? Why is it easier and harder to quit today? Why did it used to be easier and harder to quit? So as in like in the past, why was it um, easier in the past? Well, it's like maybe there weren't as many drugs, that they weren't as potent. Life wasn't as complex. But also back then you didn't have as many people to help you get off it, you didn't have experts. Today, life has so much more pressure, but you have more people that are actually willing to help you. So it's a good and a bad. You tell them about the good and the bad of the world. The show bag, teach something, come up with your steps again. Remember the steps from like, what was it, day two? Your steps, you've got the problem and then the steps of the pillars. Tell them your steps, give them away. And don't be afraid to give away your steps. I've never been afraid to give away my steps, not just out of being rebellious. <laughs> but you need to teach because people need to understand how. They need to be able to see that the steps are there and that those steps are possible for them. And you need to put that out in the marketplace to grow your empire. If you're putting it out there, people will join. Um, I had a client that I was just talking to just before doing this video. And for some reason, after, you know, she'd quit smoking, we started talking about life and she was like saying, hey, remember you and you were talking about you and your brother, how you guys have this um, marketing thing going on? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, I'd like to join it. I'm like, oh, well, we only have five spots in total and we've got like, you know, one left or something or two left. So she took one of the spots. I'm like, cool. Yeah, well, you never know who's going to come. If you teach, if you teach in a video or you teach... People want to join, but teaching is not enough. You need to move on to the next step, which is the opportunity. Name your program and invite people to join, either through an email, through a video, whatever it takes. But basically have a name of your program and invite people to join it. Tell them what they get. It's the eight sessions of hypnotherapy plus the two disc CD set and everybody gets blah, 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 random. Uh, sorry, not, um, so what was the standard result? Um, do you remember those six dot points that I told you about what your program is? So it was the name of your program, the core, and then what else they get, which is like the freebies. 
and then there's the standard result, as in almost everybody quits by the end of the first session, or that almost everybody um, starts creating this healthy lifestyle for themselves straight away, where they start to enjoy much better foods, instead of discovering that like perhaps it takes 20 bags of Doritos to get enough nutrients, <laughs> and they still feel hungry, even after 20 bags of Doritos, but they feel sick, they feel bloated, but they still feel peckish, because they haven't eaten whole foods. And then what else do they get? Um, do they get a CD set? Do they get a manual? Do they get something else? Do they get a bonus? The energy stay present at the end of your video, at the end of your, like, don't lose energy at the end of your presentation or at the end of your email that you send people or at the end of whatever it is that you're sending out. And then register, give a call to action. Say either type I'm in to join, type I'm in to, um, to get the PayPal link details, um, or click this button to register. Give a call to action. People like steps. So that's sales offer, self-ambition life story, environment show bag, opportunity features freebies energy register. This could be a video that you put out and then send an email. Once you've filmed your sales offer video, pick a start date for your program, have a limited supply and email out your sales offer video. It's not too hard. It's really not too hard. So yeah, so it's pretty cool. Like when you put it out there, don't be afraid to put it out there, but you need to unpack. Unpacking is a superpower. Tell people more about what you can do for them. I love this saying of that no one cares how much you know. They care how much, oh sorry, nobody cares how much, um, cares how much you can do. They care how much you can do for them. Well, they don't care about